Bad publicity only made pit bulls more popular among the people who wanted dangerous dogs. After the Miami News series ran, local pet shops reported phones ringing off the hook with pit bull requests. One retailer reported that inquiries about the dogs doubled. Some people don't even know what kind of dog it is, the sales clerk said. They just say they want the kind of dog that bit the old lady. Customers think pit bulls will make good watchdogs because they're mean, he said. But I have to explain to them that they're pretty good-natured. Not only did the public not understand the dog's history or temperaments, most did not even know what they looked like. Florida's newspapers labeled a number of short-haired mutts as pit bulls or pit bull terriers, including one that closely resembled a yellow Labrador. The town of Hollywood then passed a formal ordinance requiring owners of suspected pit bulls to carry $25,000 in liability insurance. Gradually, these stories took on a single thematic shape. They focused on the sordid history of American dogfighting and the dark instincts that all pit bull dogs, no matter how far removed from that history, must possess as a result. Never mind that the American Staffordshire Terrier and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier had been bred for dog shows since the mid-1930s, or that several other breeds that have never been subject to media scrutiny, such as the Boxer, Akita, and Sharpe, as well as the modern English Bull Terrier and the Boston Terrier, were once used for fighting. Even more telling was that reporters labeled pit bulls killers well before reports of pit bull-related human fatalities began appearing in the news. Gone were the days of Luke, Pal, Pete, and Stubby. Gone were the pets of Helen Keller and Gary Cooper. Shelter workers, animal control officers, and animal rights activists all maintained that pit bulls were stronger and more aggressive than other dogs, relentless and, most frightening of all, completely unpredictable. Even loving family pet pit bulls, they said, could turn at any moment. More often than not, the dog's most vocal critics had no scientific background in veterinary medicine or animal behavior. An advocate from one humane organization implied that all pit bull owners were criminals, telling a reporter that the people who don't fight their dogs own them for the same reasons as the people who do. The media's caricature of the pit bull made it a perfect folk devil, it was publicly associated with violent criminals. It was said to be unpredictable and uncontrollable. It was everywhere. And, even better, it was hard to define.